An announcement is imminent that the US National Ignition Facility at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California has made a significant advance in nuclear fusion. It appears that a net energy gain in a fusion reaction has been achieved for the first time on Earth. Since the 1950s, physicists have sought to harness the mechanism by which the Sun and other stars make their light and heat. But no group until now has been able to produce more energy from the reaction than it consumes, a critical milestone known as target gain. This is the game-changing step needed if the process is to provide a reliable, abundant alternative to fossil fuels and conventional nuclear energy. The fusion technique used at the National Ignition Facility, the NIF, is known as inertial confinement. It involves bombarding a small pellet of hydrogen plasma with the world's most powerful lasers. The NIF came close to net energy gain last year when it produced 1.37 megajoules from a fusion reaction, this being about 70% of the energy supplied by the lasers. Now it seems within the past two weeks, a fusion experiment carried out here has achieved the long sought for net energy gain. To be specific, and we're still awaiting an official announcement from the US Energy Secretary and Under Secretary, it appears that in this most recent experiment, 2.5 megajoules of energy was released in the fusion reactions, 20% more than the 2.1 megajoules supplied by the lasers. It's hard to understate the potential of fusion power. There's an almost limitless supply of the fuel, hydrogen, in water, and fusion reactions result in no carbon or long-lived radioactive waste. As the world wrestles, as never before, with energy supply and cost problems, and the issue of climate change caused by burning fossil fuels, fusion promises to answer some of our most pressing needs. Various different approaches have been taken to try to harness nuclear fusion around the world. Much research is focused on magnetic confinement in which the hydrogen plasma fuel is held in place by powerful donut-shaped magnets and heated to temperatures of tens of millions of degrees. Several such large publicly funded facilities known as tokamak reactors have been or are being built in Europe, the United States, Japan and China. Recently, too, there's been a lot of investment in private companies to deliver fusion power on a small scale over the next 10 to 15 years. This new announcement expected from the National Ignition Facility and described as a major scientific breakthrough will provide huge encouragement to those working in the field. In the same year as the Webb Space Telescope has given us a remarkable new eye on the cosmos, and the successful Artemis I mission marks the continuation of the human exploration of space, we may be about to witness a new and hugely significant moment in scientific history.